1947. Your target is Sully the Crusher Bowden, a former middleweight champion. Known for his short temper and sudden bouts of rage, he has always been a ticking time bomb. Unpredictable and unruly in the ring, he finally crossed the line when he killed an opponent during a match. He showed no signs of remorse and was found guilty of first-degree manslaughter. However, he managed to flee the country and has since been on the run, making a living setting up illegal fight matches that are closer to death matches. Bowden has a lot of blood on his hands. The grieving family of the victim have reached out to us for closure. And after an extensive search, we've tracked him down in Chongqing. They want to have done to him what was done to their son. An eye for an eye, 47. Good luck. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 Welcome to the Rage Elusive Target taking place in Chongqing in China. And this is going to be available for the next 10 days, this particular elusive target. I'm going to be showing you three methods as usual. The first method is going to be involving the default loadout. So if you're a mastery level one player and you're brand new to the game and you're playing Chongqing for the first time, then this is the first guide method one for you. So it will be the default loadout with starting at the train station. Method two is going to be involving uh, micro taser. So if you have that, make sure to check out method two. And for method three is going to involve lethal poison. So... I'm going to leave the timestamps in the description. For method one, I'm going to start at the train station. Any suit you want to, bring along uh, any pistol you want to. And I'm also bringing along the fireball and the coin, because that's the default loadout in Hitman 3. So from the very start, because we are starting at the train station, we have a long way to go to reach our target. Uh, he's actually currently hanging around the arcade area, where he's going to be organizing a fight to take base taking place tomorrow. And he's going to be circling, circulating around that area and he's going to give us some pep talk to a couple of boxes around the area and that. So what we need to do is infiltrate that area and shut him down. There is a lot of guards surrounding him, a lot of guards protecting him. But there is a route to get into there. And if you're using disguise, it's all the more powerful. So the only downside to this method really is the fact that you got to... Take, it takes such a long time to get to where you need to be and it takes like a minute and a half because you need to run all the way to the back of the map over here and run all the way around the back to get to where we need to be. So there's going to be three guards over here blocking this alleyway. There's going to be two guards blocking the alleyway by the arcade and we're going to take this route because we can get through the window upstairs. So pull out your coin, press your body against this crate right here then chuck a coin behind these two guards. You don't need to make sure the guard in the, in the distance is actually looking away from you at the time and not walking towards you. Once they've turned, make sure you climb this pipe, climb through this window. Stay crouched as you've gone past this lady here. I'm going to use my instinct now to see that guard in the alleyway to my right to make sure he goes past the window before I jump over this ledge. Just to, just in case he spots us if we, if we go too early. I'm going to slide down this pipe, crouch, grab this car battery, jump out of the window and then smash him on the back of the head with the battery. Pick up his pistol that he drops on the floor and then drag his body all the way to the nearby crate. So I just go put him in his bin, get in the bin. There we go, grab his disguise. And what you wanna do with his weapon is take out the pistol and just place it over here around this area. You need to do it towards the left so the guard that comes out actually looks to the left. So the target has a personal bodyguard with him. They're both in forces. So we're gonna hide here for now. The target's gonna come out, he's gonna see the weapon and he's going to tell his guard to go and pick up that weapon. So while the guard has his back to you, to you and he's taking that weapon away, this target it comes over and leans over the ledge and you're going to push him for an accident push, accident fall. And it'll be a nice easy way to take him out. So he's spotted the, the gun now, he's going to take that away. The guard, or the target I should say, he's going to stand there, he's going to move over to the wall to the right and that's when we're going to take him out. So here's our window of opportunity. Just go ahead and push him once he starts leaning. Bit of advice though, don't push him uh, if he's not leaning. If, you, if he's not leaning, don't push him because the guards will hear you push him if he is not in that leaning position. But once you have done that, you can add to any exit you want to and it's a nice easy silent assassin if you have no equipment. It's fairly quick as well, so that's how you do it if you have no equipment. For method two, we're going to bring on the micro taser. Start is the block guard in the block. We're going to bring on the Calma 2 tranquilizer, but any tranquilizer will do. 
as long as it's one that knocks out your target. We're going to bring along a coin as well. So from the very start, we're going to come down these stairs right here, take out the trank, trank this guard to the right, and then proceed to head down the stairs a little bit further. And once we get down here, this is a quite a powerful disguise because it's a box disguise. There's a couple of enforcers down here, so we're going to take our time, be a little bit patient with this. I'm going to grab this can. There's an enforcer here, there's a woman, and the target is just outside. We're going to wait for the, the target to actually go back inside before we proceed through the next area. It doesn't matter, it's not going to lose us any time or anything like that while waiting here. Either way, you have to wait anyway. So uh, you may as well just get this section out of the way. So there's an enforcer in this room as well. She's a little bit awkward. So we're not going to leave this room until she has her back to us. I mean, you could risk tranking her if you want to. But uh, I advise against it. So we've just got to be a little bit patient. So here's me in the recording actually contemplating on tranking her. But I decided against it. It's not worth it. Especially when there's a window of opportunity anyway. And the fact that you've already got to wait. So he's inside the building now she's got her back to us so we can now exit outside stay crouched come through this gate right here climb the stairs select the micro taser and then drop it in this puddle once you've walked away go ahead and activate it and you'll see that the whole entire puddle will be sparking so the target will eventually exit that door in a minute or so and he's going to get electrocuted and it will be an accident kill electrocution so they'll get you a nice silent assassin. So if you're new to the game, even if his body's found, it's not going to harm your score because it's indeed an accident kill. The same goes for accident falls, accident drops, accident fire, accident electrocution, accident drowning, etc, etc. And an accident explosion as well is another one. But uh, what we're going to do now is just head to this exit over here because it's the closest one, I believe, apart from the one up the top of the street that has a scooter outside. But yeah, we're just going to wait here for the target to basically take care of itself. And uh, yeah, so all we've got to do is just wait. I'm just going to skip ahead for the convenience of the video. Target eliminated. Well done. Now find an exit. Your money is being transferred now. And finally, for Method 3, we're going to start as the block guard again. We're going to start in the block location, bring along our standard pistol, our coin, and any lethal poison vial or lethal poison pills you may have. From the very start, we're not going to go down the stairs directly behind us. We're going to actually pass through this room. Because we're going to avoid an enforcer. We're going to head down these stairs. And through the gate. Down the opposite stairs on the opposite side. There's no enforcers in this area, so we're all good come down these set of stairs and then turn off this fuse box that's going to distract the guard downstairs that's going to leave one person downstairs and what we're going to do is bump into him and then place the coin on the floor you can do that using your shoulder buttons on your controller and then pushing the triangle button or the y button I'm not sure what it is on pc but once they've both got those back to you you can go ahead and poison the uh, the line of cocaine that's just on the table behind him we're going to bypass that guard there. You can wait for him to turn the fuse box back on before you bypass him if you want to because he has an enforcer gauge uh, while he's investigating that fuse box. So that's why you sealed saw that suspicion meter there. But yeah, it's pretty much as simple as that. It's really easy, really quick, really simple. He's going to come in from the outside, from the rain, and uh, he's going to yell a few things and he's going to say a few things and he's going to go and sniff that line of cocaine. So once he's done that... He is going to get poisoned from the lethal poisoned, the red mist that's coming up from it. And uh, he'll have a nice, nice sleep that's permanent for a poison kill. And it, again, it doesn't matter if his body is found because uh, it's, it's a poison kill and it's tasteless and traceless. So, yeah. This doesn't take as long as the electrocution method, purely because you're catching him before... He even gets upstairs to get electrocuted, so you're. this is pretty much the fastest way you can get him. I mean, I'm sure there is all sorts of speedrunning techniques to get him a little bit faster, but uh, safely, this is probably one of the fastest ways of doing it. But he's going to about to just take a little bit of a sniff, 
So all we're going to do is just wait over here by the exit, and that'll take care of itself. You'll see the top, top left corner of your screen there. He's getting poisoned, falls on his ass, and he's out for the count. So we've got to do is exit there, and we'll get a nice silent assassin racing for the rage elusive target, or the garbage elusive target. So silent assassin, the rage. Nice boost of XP there, there, and a confirmation of the Silent Assassin. Only 44th in the world, but nevertheless, it's still amongst the fastest in the game. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed those three methods. Hopefully one of, at least one of them helped you out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about this elusive target? Let me know your thoughts on the video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel, and uh, hit the bell notification to be notified of all the future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. And a big shout out to all my Psycho Assassin members. That includes R. Zhao, uh, Mark Davis, Isaiah Blake, Paul Lilly, Bedry, Constantine Mueller, and Cooley Lee. Thank you very much for becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members. I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.